Okay, Assalamu alaikum and very good day. So we're going to start on the next lecture. Uh, previously, we have learned about the DC motor. So on this uh, lecture, we are going to touch another new motor. Uh, they call it stepper motor. Okay, so let's proceed. So what is actually about stepper motor? Uh, so what you can try to imagine that a stepper motor is the motor that can divide the full rotation into large number of steps. Means the uh, the motor can rotate in terms of steps. So you can see that it's just like a steps one by one, and then you can you can differentiate with the DC motor. DC motor DC motor you cannot uh, have a stepping like this. So this is a kind of a motor that could give you a very precise degree uh, how much that you want to rotate. So it is an electromechanical device which convert electrical pulse into discrete mechanical movement. So we are going to give a pulse to make it move by steps. Okay, uh, This motor can be used to make robots, auto door system and etc. So it is operates by energizing the electromagnetics by an external circuit so this is uh, for example they are going to use microcontroller for our for our uh, uh, circuits to uh, to give these signals and we may use the l2923d l2923d to do to use as a driver because uh, some of the uh, stepper requires more than five volts to do the stepping process so we have two types of uh, stepper motor, which is a unipolar and bipolar. This is very theoretical. I'm not going to touch about this one. I'm going to concentrate on how you can drive a motor by using micro C. Okay, the motor is uh, using the concept of uh, electromagnetics. Man, it seems seems like a DC brush for motors. Motor DC is also used electromagnetic. So, but DC uh, for this stepper motor also will be using the same concept. Uh, using the electromagnetics, but we have to drive by pulse. So uh, one type of uh, equipment that uh, using the stepper motor, you can see that maybe your 3D printer or maybe your uh, printer which uh, carry the uh, cartridge requires a very specified, a speci specific uh, degree or, uh, or rotations to make sure that uh, the uh, cartridge is still in the uh, uh, the area that it wants to do the printing okay so that is a step motor okay how it works so you can see that the operations of the motor is like this so for example for example this is uh, four pulse here so you can give for example, this four pulse here, you can connect to four pins of microcontroller. For example, this is port B. So you have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So this means if pin F0, this is pin F7. So you can use this one, this four to drive it. So you can see that this is the example on how to drive it because you can see that it's a uh, one by one it drives it so you can see that first maybe it can give one zero 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 next one it can give zero one zero zero next yeah uh zero zero one zero zero and the last one is zero 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 one and it will rotate back this position okay so this is how you can drive very simple drive of the stepper motor so it is divided into two types of winding arrangement the difference is in the way of electromagnets are connected. So these two types, uh, normally we know that about unipolar just now, unipolar and bipolar. This is one unipolar and bipolar. Uh, the difference is simpler in control and torque and less. Bipolar complex in control and torque is higher. So I'm not going to touch this one uh, deeper on uh, the theory on how uh, the step motor is designed. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So, uh, when you want to use a stepper motor, you should know how to read uh, about the spec of the motor. This is an example of the data sheet of a motor. This is a stepper motor. 
So you can see that this is the example of this motor with the bipolar and another one is unipolar. This is unipolar. This is bipolar. This is unipolar. Can I, uh, sorry, can I? This is unipolar and this is bipolar. Eh? So this is the design of it. Okay. So in this in this data sheet, right, one of the very important spec that you need to understand, they call it step angle here. This is our step angle, eh? So the motor spec. So what is step angle? So it is numbers of degree shaft advance per step. Okay. Also specified as steps per revolution. Revolution is one rotation revolution. Eh? So this is going to be easy to convert between two of them. For example, a motor with a spec given stated step angle with 1.8 degree it will require up to 200 times to step to complete 360 degrees. So I'm going to repeat this one. A motor rotation is, you can start from here, this one at going to be end here. This is a 360 degree. Correct. So it, by stepping one by one, only at 1.8 degree, it requires up to 200 times, then it will finish up to 360 degree. So you can calculate this one, 1.8 times 200 equivalents 360. So means that for this step angle 1.8, it requires up to 200 times of stepping to complete a full revolution. Okay, so now you can try to calculate yourself how many steps needed for a motor with a 1.2 degree step angle for a revolution. Let's say, for example, you purchase another stepper motor. The specs say that it's just one, 1 1.2 step angle. So how many steps that require means that you have to calculate this one. 360 degree divided by 1.2. This is equivalent to... Three hundred step. Okay, so the rest of the uh, uh, specs here is about the uh, current rated, the 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 this, the design, uh, the 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 length of the motor and the top. This is how how strong your motor can uh, pull something like that. So we are going to uh, learn about how to do the uh, controlling of the motor first all right let's move on so there are four types of controlling the stepper motor so you can see here okay for example this is a controller board maybe part of this one is your PIC or maybe any controller related over here so you can see that uh, this stepper motor this is very small stepper motor it has four cables so all related to that particular pulse are going to be give from your controller so there are four types of stepping sequence so this is the one that you may need to understand and try to uh, use this one to run the step motor in proteus uh, simulator so the first one they call it wave drive the second one they call it full step drive, which is to call it double stepping. The third one is half stepping. And the last one they call it micro stepping. So there are four types of uh, methods that you can drive a stepper motor. Okay. In the next example for simulation, the step angle of the stepper motor simulation we are going to use is at 90 degree, which is equivalent to four steps per revolution. And we have another example that we are going to use 45 degree of uh, step angle, which is uh, equivalent to 8 steps of uh, revolution. Okay, let's look at the first one for the wave drive. So what is wave drive? You can see that the wave drive is going to control the stable motor by turning on single electromagnet every time like this. 
you can see that you're going to turn on the electromagnet one by one okay by having the uh, comma like this just know this is maybe zero this is maybe zero this is maybe zero this is one and the next one the sequence will be zero zero one zero the next sequence is zero one zero zero next sequence is one zero 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 and it will keep on repeating this so you can remember that we are going to use while one loop to complete consistently looping in your programs okay you can see that by having this stepping method the step angle is 90 degree correct so it's here then it's here this is 90 degree here is 90 degree next one is 90 degree and this one is 90 degrees so the revolution is only four per revolution okay so this method requires the least amount of energy and generates the smoothest movement okay so that is the concept very simple concept okay so let's move on next one is they call it full step drive double stepping step angle still maintained at 90 degree and the revolution is 4 per revolution the only difference now is you can see that how it drives so instead of the first one just now we have this one 0, 0, 0, 0001 now we are going to have 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. then we have another one is going to be 0 one one zero the next one is one one zero zero the next one is going to be one zero zero one and we will keep repeating this one all over again so you can see that by having this two to be power up you can see that the two coil is going to be uh, energized and the magnet uh, the, the the stepping will be at the center here so this is the one so this is the one so this is the one and this is the one so again the step angle is 90 degree and the, the the revolution is 4 per revolution so it's going to be complete 360 degree four times okay this method does not generate a smooth movements as the previous method and it requires double the current but as written, it generates double the torque, so it's much stronger compared to the first one. Okay, the third one. Okay, the third one is uh, they call it half stepping. You can see that is even uh, smaller the stepping. Uh, instead of uh, ninety degree just now, the step angle now is at forty five degree. So you can see that now here is like this, like this, like this. This is 45 degree. This is 45 degree. This is another 45, 45, 45, 45. So total will be 8 per revolution. So the step angle is 45 degree. All right. So this is the method how you want to give the the, the signals to the uh, to the what to the to the output to the pins it will be like this 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 this is the one so this is how you are going to uh, uh, give the signals to the uh, PIC to the motor later so this method doubles the basic precision in degree. The motor can move at 45 degree per, uh, per step. So it is much precise. Of course, the smaller the step angle, the precise it will be. So the smaller the step angle, the, the precision will be higher. Okay. So, uh, so this is the third one. This should be the third one. And the fourth one, they call it micro stepping. Micro stepping, micro stepping is referred to the actual sign 
sine and cos microscopy. So this is the one that we are going, not going to use it because in a PIC, it's going to be a digital signal only and not a uh, sign of cost microstopping so we are going to skip this one so only three that we learn uh, these types that we concentrate okay so uh, how the stepper motor looks like so this is an example of a stepper motor pin out so you can see that it has four pins, uh, four cables, and another one is five volt. So we're going to continue uh, on the next lecture on how we are going to use it in our proteas. Thank you very much.